Now, this video is about why the police don't enforce the Constitution, right? Um, because they can't ignore it. And the reason why they have police in order is because they are, there are two oaths that they take. There's one called the oath of office that they take, and it's another one called the administrative oath, right? Um, these are policy enforcers, y'all. And they only work for the legislator. So if the legislator today say driving over 25 miles is illegal, then that's what it is, right? But if you are a subject to that, you can't rebuttal, refute, or go against what they're saying. Because every officer of this legal system that we live in have to follow that commercial code. And the only way the officer can make an arrest is if they have a contract. So it's not that the officer don't care about the Constitution. The officer just ignore it because he have every right to ignore the Constitution because it's not about the Constitution. It's not about rights. This is about statutory codes. All he needs to know, are you a subject? And if you're a subject, then that's what it is. So stop going on the police officers for something that you need to be responsible for because if you had all your shit in order, you wouldn't be going back and forth with the police officer. They're go, they going their way if they know you didn't, they, they didn't have any contracts with you. But since there's contract, they have the right to make that arrest. Right? So anybody who want to learn for real how to get out of contracts, they want to learn how to live in a private for everything they do, then you can do that. But until then, shut the fuck up. Because you're not in the private. Excuse my language, but you are not in the private. That's not how we operate. Anytime you make contract with the state, you in the you in the public. I don't give a damn. Even if it's a business license, if you ain't set that business up different, and that business belongs to you, and you claim a residential address within a corporate state, you got jurisdiction, and they can ignore the the constitution. Constitution means nothing. It's a document, it's a piece of paper. The contract makes the law. So tomorrow, if I decided I want a militia, and I had three thousand men. We all had AK-47s to put it on our back, and we marched down the street. The police can say nothing if there's no contract. They would just say, oh, let those people go because they can't enforce anything. Remember, I just showed you guys, right? Florida statute. Right. Hit the right here, right? Contractual waiver of personal jurisdiction under Florida statute 685.102. This is a statute. It's telling you every damn uh, thing that they do is dealing with contract. And they always want you to waive your rights. Just so they can gain that contract with you. Because without the contract, there's nothing they can do. So you're a free man without that contract. So the police is only enforcing the policies that were set forth by the legislator. Everything these people tell them to do, they're going to do it. They're not against you. This ain't nothing personal. This, this ain't nothing like the police really want or, to arrest you. This is their job. This is what they've been told to do. This is the commercial aspects of it, and then you have to follow it. Period. I understand it. At first, I didn't because I was just like everybody else. I have a right. I have my constitutional rights. I have my Second Amendment rights. But you don't understand. You already have it. It's not telling you. They never said you never had this right to bear arms. Name a court. They say you don't have the right to bear arms. Name a court. They say you don't have the right to travel. Name a court that ever said you don't have the right to sell drugs or have marijuana. No court never said that. The court said, I understand what you're saying, but we have these statutes. And you, sub you are subject with us. You have contract, so you are subject to that. And you have to follow it and obey it. Now, once you get out of contract, then you'll look like a foreigner. Then you'll look like a Moorish American. Then you'll look like a non-citizen national. Because they wouldn't even bring you into the courtroom if, you, if, they, if there was no jurisdiction established. Because they can't foul charges against an alien that's unidentified. A person have no contracts with them. They don't see a license on, on file. They don't see an ID on file. No business registration. Nothing on file. What can they do? Nothing. They're going to go to another state. Or nothing on file either. They don't even use y'all social security number. They can't go into a system and say, oh, here goes so No, it don't work like that. They need contractual um, uh, jurisdiction over you. They need you to, to, to agree to something. 
you agree to something, and we got jurisdiction, and we can enforce this, whether it be a silent contract or something that you enter into. So if you have a license, that won't be considered silent contracts. That'd be like you willfully giving them jurisdiction. Silent contracts would be them asking for your address and you get it over. That'd be a silent contract if they don't have any other contract. Because I remember this also, man, look, I told y'all. It was about to arrest me and my wife this week. And I remember I had guns in the car. And we was doing this little 1099 process. But this before I knew everything about the 1099A. They thought we was committing fraud. Because when I was explaining the process, these people told us, hold on. They left the damn dealership, came back. And he asked me, he pulled out the pen and paper. Now, this is the silent contract. He said, hey, guys, where you guys currently reside? I said, we live in the United States of America Republic. He looked at the phone, he folded that motherfucker up and went outside. And then he came back 15 minutes later, gave us a car and said, have a great day. That's it. That's it. That's it. Because ain't no contract. What can you do? Nothing. So he looked at me like a foreigner, like a damn foreigner. He looked at me like a foreigner. That's what a foreigner is. A foreigner is when no contract's been established. When they looking at you like, who the fuck is this? Like you came from the, the, the Arabic Empire or something like that. You're going to look totally different. Then you can claim that Moorish American shit. Then you can say that. I'm Moorish American. You're going to show them the nationality card. But until then, you can't do anything. I'm out.